So this is the Goldring Lenko GL75 or as it's better known in other parts of Europe just the Lenko L75. Uh, in the UK it was sold under the Goldring name. Um, so yeah, uh, to many people, not uh, really in running around in hi-fi circles, this this is something that's probably you'd associate with your granddad. Um, but actually it's it's getting really quite popular again it's picking up popularity in in hi-fi I mean it's always been very popular it's just that it's becoming more popular again and prices are going up uh, anyway this is what I use downstairs actually for for my hi-fi system um, this is in its stock form so why am I doing a video about this plain old hi-fi turntable that well, I haven't even changed the arm one it's all original um, the the reason why is until a few years ago I didn't realise that these were um, used in these were quite popular apparently in some told in uh, discos in Italy and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, there's a guy on YouTube that um, does a video on the 75s model, um, saying how you mix on them and what have you. Um, and I thought it would be a really cool idea to try and have a go, especially as I got the uh, the old Bozak mixer from the 70s. Unfortunately, I don't have two Lenkos, so I had to go from one to the other. And it was actually really, it was, it was, it was quite nice. I thought um, you, you're not constantly fighting the quartz; you just have to be very light-handed. Whereas with this, you know, you're like always pushing and tugging the record and pulling it. Um, yeah, and so it's, it's it's a very basic deck. I mean, it's late 60s. Um, you know, just did power control and your speed control, and um, I'll show you in the next video how that works because it's not a belt drive, and it's not it's not entirely like what you'd call direct drive, although it's kind of direct. It's it's a it's a little idle drive thing that drives the platter. It's another wheel, and yeah, that's your speed control, and it's constantly variable, which is pretty cool. And what the DJs did in Italy is remove these little indentations where so if you're 33 RPM and you can't move it until you you have to lift it you see and what they do is they take these screws out and remove these little things so you'd the pitch would be constantly variable okay so yeah uh, next video so yeah here's the um, what's underneath the platter as you can see that's the idler drive which drives the platter and that's the motor in there and the speed control just changes where that is it's that basic and that's your platter four kilos or something four kilograms yeah and of course the um, the plinth is separate from the turntable so with these old kind of decks um, this is sprung I don't know if you can see, and this this base is completely interchangeable. You don't have to use this; you can make your own and put it into anything you want. So, yeah, you're not restricted to the plin. the The only downside of these decks is really the sort of stock tone on that it came with. And if you want to keep that mounting hole, um, yeah, you only have a few options like the lin arm, the autophon, and I think something else. Yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, what this really excels at, these, these uh, belt drive or these idle drive, they ex excel at is mixing disco, oh my god. On a Technics you're constantly fighting the chords. People who mix this kind of music will know what I'm talking about. Um, there, there's a way, obviously, around the Technics 1200s that you mix, there, there, there's a very distinct style when you use this turntable that you have to adapt with like, hand motions. Um, and like nudges that you have to do and it's quite annoying and, and in riding this thing oh fucking up this this is beautiful to use all the thorns yeah brilliant <laughs>